So there are so many places in the world where you can combine beautiful views and fishing. In Western North Carolina, absolutely, that's the opportunity. But one of the most beautiful places there is to fish, in my opinion, is uh, Grand Teton National Park. And we are going to be fishing the Snake River that flows right through Grand Teton today. Um, we're gonna be going after some monster trout. Uh, we've heard there's been good fishing and it's actually a really late start because it's not even, it's 9.30 right now and we're going to meet the guide in about five minutes. Um, the fishing has been better late in the day and that's amazing because normally on these kinds of trips, we're up by 5 a.m. to get to um, meet the guides by seven or so to get out fishing early in the morning because in the southeast, it gets too hot for the trout after about midday. Here, on the other hand, in the fall, the water temp is cold enough that they're actually more active in the middle of the day than they are in the morning, and that's what we've been told anyway. So we're gonna go check out this fishing on the Snake River. Um, I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all, I am so upset. I forgot the little clip piece that gets my GoPro attached to my chest mount. I got a jerry rig something, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll just hold it in my mouth while I'm fishing. Grr. Oi. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. Anyway, so we're gonna see what happens, but uh, getting rigged up and launching the boat here and we're going down. We're actually not fishing through the Tetons in the end. The fishing there's been really slow because of all the pressure from earlier this summer. So we're actually down a little ways south of Hoback Junction, um, enjoying a different stretch of the snake and checking stuff out. It's gonna be fun. Taking a quick break from fishing because there's apparently an old ward, uh, World War II tank hanging out in the woods over here. So we're gonna go find it, take a quick detour and go check it out because why not? So 
So apparently the guide says they were, um, used to be mining silver up this creek up here and they used that tank because it's an amphibious tank. They'd use it to transfer silver from up the mine through the river over to the highway across the river over here. So that's why it's there. Apparently it broke down or got stuck or something like that. But it used to um, be used for silver mining. Never actually saw any action in World War II because it was commissioned in October. And um, of course the war ended in much earlier than that in 1945. So still a really cool thing to find. Not something you're gonna see anywhere. Not something you're gonna see a lot of places. So I thought it was cool. y'all so that's the end of the fishing trip for today um it's been a lot of fun caught several cutthroats and uh not something i realized but the snake river cutthroats a special species i didn't know that before but that's freaking awesome just beautiful fishing completely different in a lot of ways we did dry flies the whole time which was a lot of fun to learn how to cast because i haven't fished that many dry flies so i had a lot of fun with it Snake River is absolutely beautiful. JD High Country Outfitters has been amazing. Our guide was awesome. Um, shout out to y'all. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, if uh, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you like this video as well because uh, it really helps out the channel. Really helps me start to grow things. And uh, just want to say thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed. Um, there's been another little pop of you in the last little while so I really appreciate it welcome to the journey and uh, glad to have you along all right y'all I'll see you next time thanks mm -hmm.